What's up, Minties? The Uncanny Omar here, and I'm joined with my lovely co-host. The amazing Amanda. And this segment is... Reviews at a Flash. That's how fast she punches. And this segment is Can't brought lie. to you by... Darkstar916. Darkstar916, <laughs> not Darkstar916. <laughs> That's a different person, and they <laughs> sponsor another show. Uh, this is... The Spider King. Spider King. It was published by Bloom Studios. It started off as a Kickstarter. IDW? Yep. <laughs> IDW. We are off to a great start. I do know it was a Kickstarter, goddammit. <laughs> so, yes, uh, it was a Kickstarter. This is all five issues. I said five issues. Please tell me I'm right yes, about that. You okay. are. <laughs> and it also contains a couple of extra stories yes. in the back. Uh, it is written by Josh Van. Yes. And it is drawn by Simone B. No, De Armini. De Armini. Thank you. You're wow, you, you pronounce that so good. Um, now, the Spider King, I had no idea what this story was about because no, um, somebody that had wa- read um, Watched Watch Lake, Lake of Fire, Fire said, said you should read Spider King. And I think it was uh, I, Brett. If it, was, it was. Brent. Brent. Yes. yes. Which, okay, I understand why. Now, now I get it. So. <laughs> This is about a group of Vikings. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the very beginning, their leader's killed off, and his son, Hrolf. Hrolf. Whatever. There's two warring factions. Pretty much Hrolf and his uncle are at war with each other. Yes. And that is kind of the storyline that starts to take place. And in the middle of this war, where Hrolf has all but been defeated um, over the course of the years since his father has died, a alien spacecraft... <laughs> lands in the middle of all of this. Sounds familiar. Yes, it is like Lake of Fire. <laughs> Unless you haven't read Lake of Fire uh, Yes, then... These reviews are spoiler-free, damn it. Yes, sorry. But go watch that review first, and then come back and watch this review. Or just read the book. So, yes, let, me take it, let me take it from here. Okay. And so, <laughs> they... <laughs> this alien invasion, per se, or, like, I don't know, they're parasites or something. And they Very start, much like alien. They start attacking uh, the Vikings, and the Vikings start fighting back because they find a spaceship, and and they, they pick up weapons, weapons, and one of them is very. Uh, what is her name? Sig- Sigrid. Sigrid. Yeah. So she fights with a bow and arrow, and She's like she, a princess fights, she of finds sorts these for alien arrows that hurt the aliens, and uh, the Vikings get their bodies taken over. Some of their heads explode. It's so over the top fun. I guess the best way to describe it. So let's talk about the art, and then we'll yeah. talk about the story. So I love the artwork because it is really different, and I think the colors at first were a little daunting to me because there's it's very dark a lot of the colors is very dark blues dark greens everything is very dark not light and by any stretch of the means but i think it works really well especially there's this one beautiful segment where you see the spider king Uh, that is i think very haunting so i think it works really well and very cartooning but i think it works for this very over the top story um unlike lake of fire which i felt was very like had this a lot of heartfelt emotion it is really difficult not to compare compare it it because because they're so very similar this one has them saying like thor's thundering arsehole and stuff like that which is why it's rated m for mature i think the art really complements the story because the story itself doesn't take itself seriously so the art has to look cartoony Yes. And what I will say, though, sometimes during the battle, it gets really confusing. To see stuff. Because a lot of the characters look so cartoony and look very much the same that I had a hard time following it. But maybe that was the point, though, that you're supposed to get lost in this madness. I don't know. What did you think of the story? Uh, I I enjoyed it. I thought it was an interesting take. It didn't didn't move me like like Fire did, um, but I don't think it... I mean, I think it intended to move you to a certain extent, but it didn't make me emotional like Lake of Fire did, which is fine, but it was fun, especially because there's a lot of jokes and stuff made throughout it, especially because you have this poor little alien alien baby, alien creature, which I think is a baby, and it's trying to explain how certain things work, but of course they don't speak the same language, and that's kind of funny, and the way they interact with some of this stuff is almost like you would expect, maybe, if I could imagine, (laughs) I keep thinking of like, uh, like Seth Rogen and them, if they ever made some kind of like Viking sci-fi mix, I don't know. Okay, it would so be a little funny. <laughs> it, it's like I said, it is difficult not to compare it to Lake of Fire. Whereas uh, Lake of Fire, I think, would make an amazing movie. I think this would make an amazing anime, like yes. an uh, animated movie. Just a cartoon. For uh, sure, yeah. The pacing was 
so quick, though. That was my only... That was probably my biggest issue with the story. Yes. It moved like that. You were from jumping from one scene to another. And, and you finally get to the end. Maybe it's because of the way that the chaos is written and every, you're caught up in the middle of it. You're like, okay, holy crap, are we at the end already? We are at the end already. Yeah. So that was... I wish it was maybe a little bit longer. It could have helped. Um, and then the, the two stories in the back I found pretty interesting. One of them happens before the attack of the Spider yes. King and his people. And the other one is kind of it helps a pitch. explain the yeah the, the the first story helps explain like Hrolf and Sigurd's relationship. A little yeah, bit. which yeah. you really didn't need. You didn't honestly. need, but it's fun to you know. I'm it's glad fun. they honestly. I would be pissed if they did not include it in here. But no, you didn't. Oh, really for the need. prize? <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait a minute. Oh, if yeah. there's more story, I want the complete thing. Yeah, Even if no, I'm not gonna read it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was a fun book. I, yeah. Not to be taken seriously. Very tongue in cheek. A lot of the. <laughs> interesting because there's like people getting decapitated their heads smashed their bodies Ooh. just mangled and then there's a joke in here and there that kind of fit in because of the art so the art really yes. makes it work what would you give it i think i would give this you know 3.5 out of 5 3.5 i out of five? enjoyed it okay. enough that i would probably recommend it to other people yeah i, I give it a 4 out of 5 i think it was Thank good you. it was a lot of fun and not to be taken seriously so there you go. 3.5 out of 5 from The Amazing Amanda and yes. a 4 from The Uncanny Omar. Thank you very much for watching. This is the part where Amanda takes over because I always fuck this up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, guys, because uh, he keeps babbling. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And remember to ring the bell for notification of more great Near Mint Condition content. Remember to follow us on all of our social media channels at Add Near Mint Con. Check us out on our Patreon and support our channel. And also, we do have some t-shirts on Redbubble now, so those links are both in the description below, so check it out and support the channel. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint. Bye, guys. He's babbling. <laughs>